Alright, here's the next game in our little Jeopardy marathon. We're going to be playing on the Nintendo Switch version. This is Jeopardy! Let's play Jeopardy! Clue Rooms. The first so game in our marathon, of course, was Jeopardy! for the Nintendo 64, but awards. fortunately that World did not happens. turn out so well. So hopefully this Once game will go better. November. How fitting is we're in November right now. Alright, let's see who gets to start. Player two. Let's be player Please two that starts. Category. Look at the following in image. the board game clue, you'd find the items seen here in the study or in this other room. <clears throat> what is the library? <clears throat> That's it. Clue rooms for 400. Player one, which category would you like? Sing the items seen image. here in this clue game room. <clears throat> What is the billiard room? Exactly. Clue rooms for 600. Look at the following The image. setting seen here would be set in this clue room. What is the dining room? That's correct. Clue rooms for 800. Observe the following image. Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet might engage in the activity seen here in this room. What is the ballroom? Yes. Clue rooms for 1,000, please. Look at the following the image. The items seen here would thrive in this clue room that's built to let the sun in. What is the conservatory? Exactly. All right. Okay. I'll do Once Upon a November for 200. This canal between the Arabian Desert and the Sinai Peninsula formerly, formerly opened on November 17th, 1869. Patricia. Suez Canal. Correct. Yes. Player three, pick a category. Celebrity's favorite books for 800. Jessica Biel's favorite book is this Gatsby writer's Tender is the Night. Uh, who wrote? Uh, was that Scott Fitzgerald? Well done. All right. Player one. Once upon a November it's for 400. It's your turn to choose a category. This pair saw the Pacific Ocean for the first time at the mouth of the Columbia River on November 7th, 1805. Who are Lewis and Clark? Exactly. Yep, that's correct. Once upon a November for 600. On November 25th, 1981, this first lady gave birth to twins in Dallas. Uh, who is Barbara Bush? No, that's incorrect. Oh! Wait a minute, was it Michelle Obama? Correct. No, it was Laura Bush, okay. Player two. Oh Pick yeah, that's category. right. Alright, Celebrity Super Books for 400. Dolly Parton says that this is her favorite book because I always say that I thought I could, I thought I could. What is the little engine that could? Indeed. 
play Once a upon a November Which 800. Which category would you like? The colonists' response to this act that went into effect on November 1st, 1765. No taxation without representation. What is the Stamp Act? You are right. Once upon a November 1st, 1000. On November 29th, 1929, he sent the message, My calculations indicate that we have reached the vicinity of the South Pole. <laughs> Was Richard Bird? Yes. Celebrities' favorite books for two hundred. Not surprisingly, this magician claims as his favorite book the Charles Dickens novel that bears his name. Who is David Copperfield? Precisely. Jennifer Lawrence picked this offers Raise High the Roof Beam, Carpenters and Seymour, which she read after the catcher in the rye. Who is J.D. Salinger? Salinger. Correct. Yep. Celebrity's favorite books a thousand. Lauren McCall said his All the Pretty Horses was the most beautiful writing I have read in years. James Baldwin? No. Who is Philip Roth? Hmm. Sadly, no. that's not it. Cormac McCarthy was it. Well done. Hmm. Player two, please select a category. Clothes make the character for 1,000. Based on a real-life pro wrestler, this G.I. Joe character wore in the type of pants seen here. <coughs> Who is... Sergeant Slaughter? Indeed. Yes! Alright. Got that 1,000 back. Clothes make the character 200. Look at the following image. Charles Perrault's 17th century collection of fairy tales introduced the item seen here to this story. What is Cinderella? Precisely. 400. Observe the following image. The accessory seen here was standard for this Family Matters character. Who is, who is Steve Urkel? <laughs> You want Nine, right? Six hundred, same category. Look at the following On image. TV, Fess Parker wore the type of cap seen here when he played this real-life frontiersman and congressman. Who is Davy Crockett? Exactly. Close made the character for eight hundred. Observe the following image. The item seen here completes the ensemble for this character who had a big holiday on Netflix in 2016. <coughs> you'll go wacko, you'll go crazy with Pee Wee Herman. Yes, correct. Alright! <laughs> Alright, World Capitals 200. Look at the following The statue image. seen here stands less than 10 miles from the center of this capital. <coughs> What is Cairo? Exactly. World Capitals for 400, please. This Philippine capital's Intramuros, or Wall City, was built on the design of a medieval castle. What is Manila? That's right. Yes. World Capitals for 600. This Colombian capital sits over 8,000 feet up in the Andes. Uh, what is Bogota? Indeed. World Capitals 8. The Scandinavian capital, founded around 1050, lies at the head of a fjord. What is Stockholm? That is not no. correct. Patricia. Oslo? 
You are right. That was the one. Player three, it's your turn to choose a category. Entertainment Awards 200. This singer won Album of the Year Grammys for 1989 and Fearless. It was Taylor Swift? That's correct. 400, please. Player one, which category? Oh, no, 1,000 for World Capitals, pardon me. This Alpine city is the capital of a canton, as well as the capital of a country. What is Zurich? That's not what we were going for. No. Precisely. Burn. Okay, good. Store's out. Player two. Alright, entertainment awards for 400. Variety called this daytime talk show host the awardist awardee. Awardees were which you want to record 20th People's Choice Award. Who is Ellen DeGeneres? That's correct. 600, same category. Player one. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway appeared together at the 2017 Oscars in honor of the 50th anniversary of this movie they starred in. Where's Bonnie and Clyde? Exactly. 800. There's the Daily Double. Daily Double. How much do you want to wager? Uh, Alright, I will just go 1800 on this. Martin Freeman won an, any, won an Emmy for his role on Sherlock. For this role on Sherlock, who is Dr. Watson? Precisely. Yeah. Alright, last clue. Last clue. Jesse Mueller won a 2014 Tony for playing the singer-songwriter in the musical Beautiful. <laughs> Carol King? Correct. Carol King was it? And at the end of the Jeopardy round, Patricia the in the, the hole at minus a thousand. Charles is thirty six hundred. I have twelve thousand. Patricia's gonna start double Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the double Jeopardy rounds categories. The NFL. The NFL. A flower by any other name. Companies named for people. Virginia. Hockey history. Hmm. Astro Quiz. Okay. Pretty good selection of categories here for Double Jeopardy. All right, Patricia, where are we going to start? Company's named for people for 2000 Okay. A New York bank was named for this secretary, the Treasury under Lincoln. Hmm. Who is Sam and P. Chase? You are correct. Okay. Alright, uh, I will go Please over to Hockey History category. for 400. Starting in 2005, regular season games still tied after a five minute overtime were decided by one of these. What is a shootout? That's right. Hockey History for 800. The Vezina Trophy given to players in this position was first awarded in 1927. And it's a goal. It's a position I happen to play. What is goalie? Exactly. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to play any hockey yet this season because of, uh, you know what. Hockey history for 12. In 2000, the NHL expanded to 30 teams, adding the Minnesota Wild and the Blue Jackets of this Ohio City. What is Columbus? Precisely. Hockey history for 1600. The Air Canada Center opened on February 20th, 1999, the 639th game between the Maple Leafs and these longtime rivals. Who are the Montreal Canadiens? Exactly. And close it out. The first pro hockey team in the U.S. were the Rosebuds of this Northwest city. What is Portland? You are Portland, correct. is it? Alright, ran right through that category. 
How about the NFL for four? In 2006, this team, it's 2016, pardon me, this team moved from St. Louis to Los Angeles. Who are the Rams? That's right. NFL for 800. The first of these games to be played in Honolulu was on January 27, 1980, and the NFC beat the AFC 37-27. What is Pro Bowl? Exactly. 1200 NFL. In the 80s and 90s, LT was used to refer to Lawrence Taylor. In the 2000s, LT was this running back who wore number 21. Who is LaDainian La, Tomlinson? Well done. There we go. NFL for 1600, please. In 1933, the first NFL championship game saw this team. Went 23 to 21 on a fourth quarter pass by Bronco Nagurski. Who are the Chicago Bears? Yes. NFL for 2000. In 2015, Dan Quinn became the 16th head coach of this team. And I think he actually just got fired by them recently. Who are the Atlanta Falcons? Exactly. Yep. Okay. Cut these names for people for four. Launched in 2003, this auto company is named for inventor Nikola. What is the Tesla? That's right. Company's named for people 800. During World War I, the U.S. government confiscated the assets of this German aspirin company and sold off the name. What is Bear? Indeed. Bear Aspirin, 1200, same category. In 2002, the company named for this movie maker spun off its THX division. Who is George Lucas? Yes. Yep, for Lucas Films, 1600. Answer Daily Double. Daily Double. All right. How much would you like to wager? Hmm. I'll do 3600 In 1923, brothers Henry, Lil, Hilo, and Herman Hassenfeld found what would become this toy company. What is Mattel? Sorry, but no. that's incorrect. I keep getting this one a bit mixed up. Hasbro. I still have a big lead, though. I still have a big lead, though, so that's good. Uh, Virginia 400. Slavery was introduced into what would become the U.S. in this Virginia settlement in 1619. Uh, what is Jamestown? That's right. Yep. Virginia 800. The state of Virginia was named in honor of this Virgin Queen. Patricia. Exactly. Elizabeth the first. Player three, pick a category. Flower by any other name for eight hundred. Daily double. Well, she can only risk up to a thousand. How much money are you wagering? Observe the following image. The flower seen here lends its name to this type of circular stained glass window seen in many Gothic cathedrals. A rose window? That's it. Yep. She only risked 500. She's out of the hole regardless though. Look at the following The flower image. seen here has the same name as this colored part of the human eye. What is the iris? Yes, correct. Flower for 1200 Fire please. One. Please select a category. The water lily the seen here image. is sometimes known by this name. It's used for a seated yoga pose with crossed legs. What is the lotus? Precisely. 1600? Look at the following The flower image. seen here shares its name with this Disney princess. Uh, 
who is Aurora? Sadly, no. that's not it. Who's Jasmine? Yes, correct. Jasmine's the one, yeah. Player two, it's your turn to choose Finishing a category. Flower. Insert the following. The flower image. seen here is known by this name, but sometimes used for liberal voter or politician. Charles. Bleeding Heart? That's correct. Yes. Okay, Virginia 12. Called the Eastern Shore, Virginia's part of the Delmarva Peninsula is a split from the mainland by this bay. Uh, I'll say, what is Biscayne Bay? Wrong. That is not right. Down to 24,000. Charles. She's Pink Bay? She's Pink Bay? Yeah, that's it. Virginia for 1600. Alamande left and do si do. This is Virginia's state folk dance. What is the square dance? That's right. Mm -hmm. Let's finish off Virginia, please. Player one, watch this. In 1861, General McDowell sent a decoy force and a flanking force toward Confederates at the Virginia Waterway that gave its name to this battle. Charles. Shiloh? Incorrect. No. Alright, it's 50 50. What is Bull Run? Well done. That's what we needed there. Alright, Astro Quiz for 400. The body of a comet is called this, just like the center of an app. I'll say, what is a nucleus? Precisely. Astro quiz for 400. Or for 800, excuse me. Copernicus believes that the Earth revolves around the Sun is known as a this centric view of the cosmos. What is heliocentric? Exactly. Astro quiz for 12. After the Sun and Moon, this planet, also known as the Morning Star and Evening Star, is the brightest natural object in the sky. Uh, what is Venus? Yes, correct. Astro quiz for 1600. Let's watch this short video. Our sun is a yellow dwarf, but in 5 billion years, it will become one of these massive object objects expanding past the orbits of some planets. What is a red giant? Correct. Astro quiz for 2000. Here's the last clue. In 1801, Ceres became the first of these to be discovered. What is a moon of Jupiter? That is not no. correct. Patricia. You are right. It was an asteroid. So she's going to end up at 2300. Charles 6400. I have run away game though at 29,600. And it is time now for Final Jeopardy. How much would you like to wager? Biblical Miracles is the category. I'll go for 5400. This happened several times, as in King's James, King, uh, King 17 and Acts 20, the most famous time. It's done by Jesus in John 11. What is turning water into wine? Wrong. No. Patricia went all in. Raising the dead. Okay. Yeah, raising the dead was what we needed. Sorry, but that's incorrect. But I 
I still finished up with 24,200. That's a pretty good total. Here are the final placements. And we will have game three of our marathon our in a moment. Our champion today is...